can actually hear me. Awesome, Leona, a uh, bogey-free 7-under, 65 on day one. Your first time uh, seeing Blythefield Country Club this week. Uh, what suit your eye so well? Um, it reminds me a lot of home. Uh, a lot of the golf course that I would have grew up playing at home. Uh, very green, some trees, and yeah, drove the ball really well today. Just sort of suited my eye quite well and tried to just build on that momentum that I had last week in San Francisco. Bogey-free. Um, what? What's been working really well, to especially to start out rounds uh, as of late, really hot? Yeah, it was um, pretty just consistent. A lot of fairways, a lot of greens. I think I only missed maybe one green today. Um, and really took advantage of the par fives, which really helps around here. They're, most of them we can nearly get into, so you really have to take advantage of those. And um, was hitting my irons nice. And yeah, overall, a, a pretty stress-free Thursday, which is nice to start the weekend. Absolutely. Jamal? Yeah, I mean, it was a pretty quick turnaround from last week in San Francisco. Felt my, like my game was in nice shape um, from there. And it was just a case of seeing the golf course the last few days and, and trying to rest up and start this week afresh and, and try and pick up where I left off. So I'm uh, really happy with my start. And, uh, yeah, hopefully can can get it going again tomorrow. Jason? Yeah, the course has been renovated for years past. Like, trying to change it to the tee shot. I mean, you haven't played it before. Do you, do you think there's any advantage to the fact that yeah, I don't think it does any harm. I'm, I know a lot of the girls have been been saying there's a bunker added here and there, and trees have been removed and all of that. And I'm just going gung ho. I don't I don't know any different. Which I'm not seeing maybe some of the trouble that had been there or, or having to change sort of lines off tees or clubs off tees. So um, yeah, it's about my caddy and my first time here. So fresh eyes and fresh perspective, which is sometimes nice. Well, yeah. So there was some potentially uh, bad weather in the next couple of days. I mean, how nice is it to get out to such a, a, a nice uh, first round seven under when, when you know you're going to have to shoot low on this course to, to have a chance to, to compete? Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things. Everybody's There's a lot of birdie chances out there. That you know everybody's going to be going low. You can't really stop and look behind you very much. You just have to keep your foot down and, and keep going. And yeah, I know tomorrow's forecast looks a, a little iffy. Um, hopefully the rain can stay away. But yeah, it's just trying to give yourself as many chances as you possibly can. And and whoever holds those putts, really, I think is going to be a top of the leaderboard come the weekend. Yeah, you've carved a nice niche for yourself out at the top of the leaderboard uh, early in tournaments lately. And a couple of hiccups here and there. What have you learned uh, progressing in your second year out here um, in those moments to help you put a kind of a full four rounds together? Yeah, I mean, it, it was kind of the opposite last year. I, I didn't really start the events as strong and, and used to have a strong weekend, so I'm kind of flipped that this year so I just need to put the two together and um, hopefully I can do that in these next few weeks and just getting more comfortable I think um, I've been in a few big groups the last few weeks especially and um, really happy with how I've sort of managed that and um, sort of stuck to my own game plan as well and um, been doing it for most of the tournaments now it's just a case of trying to do it like you said put four rounds together. Is there any you mentioned reminding you of home is there any in particular course that comes to mind back in Ireland uh, when you stepped foot out here yeah I mean it's very similar to the courses we sort of get in Dublin um, tree lined um, yeah like there's courses like Hermitage Allen Park ones that I would have grown up playing junior golf on and um, it's very similar I have an Irish caddy in the bag too he said the same and um, it's nice when you sort of have that familiar ID even though it's a new place um, so yeah, a little warmer than home this week, but at the same time, it's it's sort of nice to have those good pictures. Yeah, when we were walking over here, I mentioned to you uh, it's pretty warm, and you said, "Oh, there's some nice nice wind in some spots, some alleys. Mm -hmm. Where are those alleys, and uh, does that add to the home feel?" Yeah, I mean the the wind. I think it was it was swirling a little bit when we got out on sort of 13, 14, um, those those holes. But um, yeah, I mean it's it's. The biggest adjustment from last week was the ball is flying so much further this week. It, the ball wasn't flying at all in San Francisco. And just adjusting those yardages to to this week and getting used to seeing the ball travel and carry that, that bit further. So adjusting back on that. Awesome. Anybody else? Awesome. Thanks, Leona. Thank, Thank you. Leona. Thank you. You good? Yep, you're all done.